Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve another one of the important programming challenges of HackerRank. And name of this programming challenge is New Year Chaos. In this programming challenge, we will get two input. First one is T, that will be number of test cases that is going to run. Another one is N, the length of the value of that size of the variable. For example, let's say right now test case is given as one and the total number of length is five. There are five values are given. Values are in the sequence of two, one, five, three, four. Now let's understand this problem. In this problem, you have to given five consecutive values between one to five. And this 1 to 5, you have to arrange it in a some way that it will give the result as 2, 1, 5, 3, 4. With a one condition. The condition is you can interchange the position of the value with maximum 2 position and minimum 1 position. What does that mean? Let's understand this with a pictorial representation. For example, there are total number of n is 5. So 5 n consecutive values will be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 give the number of position you have to set the value in a in a given input value in given input value is 2 1 5 3 4 now 5 is given at the third position so i have to move 5 to here correct let's do that so this is one position changed again This is the second position changed. So two iteration happened to position I have changed of one value five. Now after that I have to interchange the value of two to one. One. So your output will be is 3 how to move the places from 5 to third position you have taken 2 and after that repeat interchange between 2 to 1 you have taken one position you have moved that value so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 position got changed now i've already told you the current is minimum one position of the value you can move forward direction and maximum 2 but if it exceeds more than two then you have to print two chaotic for example let's say instead of two one five three four i got another input input should be like this now the consecutive values are now i have to move fifth to second position Now this is 3 iterations of 5 value I did to move position from 5th to 2nd. It exceeded the maximum condition. So in this scenario your output will be 2 chaotic. Okay. Now let's understand the constraints. Constraints are the test cases you will get between 1 to 10 and the values the value of n you will get between 1 to 10 to the power 5 now let's solve this problem with the help of a java programming language we will take the previous problem only in this this will be our input correct now in the previous diagram I've, i have already explained that five consecutive values one two three four five you have to make it li in like two one five three four and you have to print the total number of positions that you changed and if it is not possible then return to chaotic what i'm thinking is instead of 
one two three four five that consecutive change value changes to two one five three four it is better if i will sort the value two one five three four to a consecutive value and return the same output and return the total number of counting position what i'm trying to say is our job is to convert one two three four five correct one two three four five i have to convert like this two one five three to four correct but instead of one consecutive values to two one four five five three for given input to convert it is easier for me to solve two one five three four to a in a sorted value and position iteration i can count and i can return right so that's what i am going to do so instead of following this procedure i'm going to follow this one so to follow that one to what i will do first of all i will going to initialize two value first one is int count equal to 0 another one is boolean flag equal to false and after that i am going to use for loop i equal to uh, q dot size total number of length i greater than equal to 1 minus minus i i am going to start from the end so from there i can shift the value position and the next thing that i am going to check it that that last position is equal to the current position that last position both the values are equal or not what i am trying to say is let's say uh, our current value is 2 1 3 4 this is our given input value now and i am iterating the value from the backward direction correct so like this i am i am iterating the value correct so i am going to check first of all pool is equal to 5 or not if it is not equal then i can change the enter placement so for that what i am going to do if q dot get i minus 1 not equal to i not equal to i then we will write our logic inside here i minus 1 we already know that the position of this value starts from always from 0 right so 0 1 2 3 4 so i minus uh, from i is 5 so i minus 1 5 minus 1 4 so 4 is equal to 5 or not so i found it here 4 is not equal to 5 so i will go inside and after that what i will do i will find it out if i minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 or not 0 or not and q dot get i minus 2 equal to equal to i here what i have written here if i minus 2 that will be i minus 2 5 minus 1 5 minus 2 it will be 3 so if what if the value 
5 is equal to 3 or not so 5 is not equal to 3 5 is not equal to 3 in that scenario I will go to else if i minus 3 greater than equal to 0 you already understood understanding right why i'm greater than equal to 0 i am changing so that it should not exceed the counting value side means it should not go to the negative side and q dot get i minus 3 equal to equal to i now if the first condition did not satisf satisfy then i am going to check 5 to this position now here i found it out that it is replacing that value here so it it is equal now if it is equal and it is less than my i minus 3 that means it is greater than 0 so 5 minus 3 is i think 2 position 2 is greater than 0 the condition is true it will come down here and after that i am going to swap the value so here inside here what i will do Now I have to interchange the value according to their position. I am going to write q dot set i minus 1 i minus 1 that is the last position it should store swap 3 correct after that q dot set set i minus 2 4 so 4 it will be swap 1 and after that q q dot set i minus 3 here it is going to fifth position fifth position it will be going to 3 only 3 is going to be stored which is swap 2 value so hw swap and after that i am going to count the number of position that i have swapped and it will be count plus equal to 2 and this will be written inside here correct now after that what after this logical implementation with the fifth value i did so what what will happen it will display the value like this and the job of the five comes five is over now the next iteration is four is going to happen now now four is going to happen when i cal it calculated the four value then i found out that one that if q dot get i minus one means position number i minus one that is five minus one four is equal to this four or not so that iteration of four and the values of q dot set which we set in which we are setting the value four four are equal is equal so we are only have to manipulate it with non-equal values right so it is equal so it won't go inside if logic now after that again it will go to the fourth to third third again we found out the third position is also equal so again it will not go inside the if logic now again what it will do again it will iterate with the next value the next value is 2 and when i iterated the 2 then i found out that 2 and 1 are not equal now 2 and 1 are not equal so it went inside here and went after that it checked if i minus 2 that is i is right now 2 so 2 minus 2 greater than equal to 0 its condition is 2 next to our this q dot get i minus 2 i position is right now 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 0 is equal to equal to i or not so what does that mean that means what if 2 is equal to the 0th position or not 2 is equal to 0th position or not 
so this will be the zeroth position and it found out that it is equal correct so zeroth position it is equal so i have to swap between and swap the values of two so what will be the logic logic is going to happen something like this and here we can see that only one iteration of only one time it happened and after that i am going to write it down here count plus plus value will be presented like this and the value is completely sorted from 21534 to 12345 and total number of count is 2 now if again after that there is a possibility that it may exceed the mole number of two iteration right so in that scenario what i'm going to write i'm going to write else block else if both the condition did not satisfy in that scenario what we should do we will make flag equal to true and we will break the loop if it happens one time. and after that here simply we are going to write one conditional operator or right, flag if flag is true in that scenario if flag is true then we will print chaotic and if flag is false in that scenario we will just return the count that's it so this is the logic i have written for the program for new year chaos programming challenge now what i will do i will try to execute the same problem in the hacker rank and we will see this is the correct logic that i have written out So after executing all three test cases got successful let's submit the code So here i can see that all the test cases became successful so the logic that i have written it here and i have explained it to you here it is completely correct This is the end of this video if you have any type of feedback or doubt please write it in the comment section i will provide the solution in the github and github link i will give in the description section and if you have a any type of improved version of this problem please write it in the comment section so that i can also learn and improve my coding skill thank you see you for the next video stay tuned for the next upcoming programming challenges thank you